Hey guys, we are gonna multiply and divide some fractions today. And before you moan, maybe you already did, just know this is way better than adding and subtracting them, okay? All right, I'm gonna be pretty detailed in this video. If you just needed like a quicker overview, I will link a video in the corner, okay? All right, but let's go ahead and do this. Okay, we're gonna multiply. Oh yes, also if you're like, you're gonna do the same problem twice? Yes, I am, but there's a reason, trust me, okay? I'll show you. Here we're gonna multiply, sorry, we're gonna multiply and then simplify at the end. Here we're gonna simplify as we go and you can decide which way you like better. You'll probably like this one better, so hang on around for it, all right? Okay, okay, when we multiply fractions, guess what guys, this is why you're gonna like it, okay? The denominators don't have to be the same. What? I know, we don't have to worry about it, okay? We just multiply straight across, okay? so. 3 times 4 gives me 12, right? Good. 8 times 7 gives me 56. Guess what? We need to simplify it, but that's it, okay? Now, we're going to simplify it. If you need um, a quick reminder on how to simplify fractions, I'll link a video. But I notice both 12 and 56 are divisible by 4. So I'm going to divide by 4 on top and bottom, okay? And I end up with three fourteenths. What? Done. I told you it was better than adding and subtracting, right? Okay. Now we're going to do the same problem, but I'm going to do it a little different. Okay. So when you see a problem like this, as you do them more, you will probably start to notice things like eight and four. And you're like, oh, eight and four can simplify with each other, okay? As long as one is on top and one is on bottom, you can notice this and do something about it, okay? So basically what this is, is eight can be written as two times four, right? Two times four is eight, okay? So when I have one number over itself, it's just one, right? So we can cancel those, right? And over here, you're left with a two. And over here, it's, it's just a one is what you're left with, okay? So it's basically like we're simplifying beforehand. And see, look, that's that four we took out. What? Okay, so again, multiplying straight across. So now it's three times one, which gives me three. Two times seven, which gives me 14. Look, I'm done. Always make sure that it can't simplify further because maybe you missed something. So always double check, make sure it can't simplify further. But look at that, done, right? Um, but always just know if you miss canceling something out like that, you can simplify it after, okay? So no pressure, okay? Now we're gonna divide. Don't be scared. Um, I'm gonna use green. <laughs> okay, you might not believe this if you haven't done this before, but it's, it's really easy. So all you have to do is you take your second fraction, you flip it. The fancy um, math word for that is reciprocal. Okay. Don't ask me to spell it, but that's how you say it. Um, you flip it and you multiply. Right. That's, that's the truth. Okay. So we're going to take six fifteenths. We are going to take our second fraction and flip it. What was that word? Reciprocal. Okay, and multiply, just like we did up here, straight across, okay? This time I'm going to just multiply and worry about simplifying after. Uh, six times 12 gives me 72. Over 15 times five gives me 75. What? Okay, now I need to simplify. So. I noticed that three goes into both 72 and 75. So I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by three. And I end up with 24 25ths. Done. Okay, we're going to do the same thing, but I'm going to um, uh, cross out before. So basically simplify before is what you could call it. So same thing to begin with, 6 15ths. Multiply by the reciprocal, 12 fifths, okay? 
And you guys have a better purple than that. Okay, this time I'm going to notice that 12 and 15 are both divisible by three, right? So um, I could write it out like I did here, um, but you'll start to be able to do it without writing it out. So basically I think how many times is three going to 12? It goes in four times. And how many times does three go into 15? It goes in five times. Okay. I could have written this three times four and this three times five. And then you cross out the threes, right? If that helps you go for it. Okay. Um, now we're going to multiply across. Okay. So six times four gives me 24 and five times five gives me 25 done again. Always just double check to see that it doesn't simplify further, but then you're done. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too bad. Better than adding and subtracting them, right? Okay, hopefully you can get your homework done. Bye.